Hi everyone, this is Pastor Tim. In this video update, I want to highlight three things. First of all, I want to thank those of you who prayed for the elders and pastors meeting last night. It took place on May 5th. As a part of that meeting, we began to give thought and attention to a, an incremental re-engagement plan for drawing the church family back together on this campus. We want to be very respectful of governing authorities. We want to be sensitive to a variety of health concerns. We tried last night to give some attention to uh, a whole litany of factors that we need to at least consider in the process of planning to bring the church family back on campus. But we're also very deliberate in all this. We look forward to the day when we can all be back together on this campus in public gatherings. So would you continue to pray for that whole process? Second, you can see behind me a part of the parking lot of Grace Church. Tomorrow morning at 7 a.m., there are going to be some of us who are going to gather in this parking lot, socially distanced, uh, but we're going to gather here to agree in prayer on the National Day of Prayer. Tomorrow, May 7th, is the National Day of Prayer, and uh, one of the passages that is frequently cited during the National Day of Prayer is 2 Chronicles 7, 14. If my people, this is God speaking, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I'll hear from heaven, I'll forgive their sin, and I'll heal their land. Interestingly, God challenges us in that verse with three things we can do. We can humble ourselves and pray. We can lay down our self-reliance and look in God's direction. That's number one. Number two, we seek his face. When we pray, we gaze on God. We don't merely bring to him uh, a whole litany of requests, but when we look in his direction, we gaze on him and remind ourselves of who he is. And then thirdly, we turn from our wicked ways. We repent. Uh, we not only confess our sins to God, but before him, we resolve to turn from it. And then God says he'll do three things in response to those postures on our part. He says that he'll hear from heaven. Isn't that amazing? God will hear from heaven. He says he'll forgive our sin by virtue of the finished work of Jesus Christ, and he'll heal our land. And we live in a land that's in need of a whole lot of healing right now. Isn't that true? And then thirdly, thirdly, I want to encourage you to be here this Sunday for Mother's Day with Grace Church Online. Please join us. We want to celebrate women that day, and we also want to give thanks to God for the gift of moms. We want to celebrate moms this Sunday. We're going to be looking at a passage of scripture that's really uh, an incredible Mother's Day passage in 2 Timothy chapter 1 where we learn that there was a mom and a grandma who had extraordinary influence, extraordinary impact in the spiritual formation of a young man who became a leader in the Christian church. Hope you can be with us this Sunday. You're very loved Grace Church. We pray for you regularly and we look forward to uh, gathering together with you, hopefully sooner rather than later. Blessings on you, Grace Church.